Welcome to Cake Members video tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to send out e-registration forms for potential parents. Parents will be able to pre-register their child by filling out our online forms and submitting them for you to review. If you approve of the family's enrollment, you can download their information directly into Cake Desktop without having you to input their information tediously. To start off, let's send parents an e-registration form via email. Let's go ahead and log into our Cake Desktop facility, go to the Cake Members tab, and choose Send e-registration to parents. A new window will appear. Just click the Add button below. Put in the parents' email address and it will be added to the list. You can add additional emails to the list. Now let's go ahead and click Send. As you can see here, the status bar will indicate when the emails have been sent. Now let's go ahead and shift our focus to the parents' point of view. Right now we are inside Allison's Gmail inbox. As you can see, she received the email from Cake Demos facility. Now let's go ahead and click on this link here. And Allison will immediately be able to fill out the e-registration form. We will return to the form in just a moment. Another way for the parents to access the e-registration forms is to go directly to our website. Here we have our main page. Parents can go to the Parents tab and click on the first step indicated here. Afterwards, they will need your Cake ID or School ID to put in this box so that the e-registration form can be sent to the correct facility. After putting in my facility School ID, we are at the same step as before. As you can see in red, all of the fields with asterisks will have to be filled in. Let's start by filling in the mother's information, followed by the home address and work information. Let's go ahead and do the same for the father's information. Go ahead and select the marital stats, followed by the two children Allison will want to enroll into the facility. Now let's put in the child's personal and contact information. For the contact information, you can choose for it to be the same as the parents to save you time. Now to fill in the child's health information. As you can see here, there is a list of hospitals shown here. This is the hospital that has already been listed from within your facility. If the hospital is not listed, you can add a new one by clicking the Add button here. Let's go ahead and pick a doctor, dentist, and health insurance company. Select a school if the child is attending any. Put in any additional notes or allergies. Now let's go ahead and go back to the top and fill in the information for the next child by clicking on his tab. Now let's go ahead and select if there are any authorized persons. Authorized persons will be contacted in case of emergencies or can pick up Allison's children. Let's go ahead and put in information for Allison's mother, followed by home or work information and what she is authorized for, whether it is to pick up Allison's children or be contacted in case of emergencies. Let's move on to the next step. Select that you have agreed to our terms of use and click the submit button. Allison has just successfully pre-registered both of her children. It's that easy. Now let's shift back to the perspective of that of a child care provider. As you can see, we are once again inside Cake Desktop. When a parent has submitted their e-registration, you will receive an email stating the parent's submission. There are two ways to review the e-registration forms. You can do so by going into the Members tab and view e-registration forms. Your default browser will automatically open to our site, and you will now have displayed all of the e-registration forms that have yet to be reviewed. You can also view the e-registration forms by logging into your web portal and going under the More tab. Now that we are here, you can choose to do one of three things. You can edit them, delete an e-registration form, or download it directly to your facility. Let's go ahead and do just that. Now we will have the chance to review the information and make any necessary changes. After you are done reviewing the information, put in your cake ID or school ID here and password and then click import. Once it is done processing, all you have to do is go back into your Cake Desktop and click the sync button, and voila. Their information is now displayed under the design tabs. All you have to do is fill in a bit more information, add a picture, and the profile is set. Overall, e-registrations will make incorporating new families into your Cake Desktop much faster and easier. We would like to thank you for watching this video tutorial and we hope this video helps. Cake. It's not about what we do, it's about what you don't have to.